So we've woken up to a really beautiful morning. It looks like it's gonna stay for the next few days, hopefully. I've just been off taking photos on the beach. B's been chilling out, reading in the van. Uh, right now we're gonna leave this spot because everyone else has left as well. They've all been here for a few days. We've been here for two nights now and we're gonna head and go and look for uh, this waterfall that's meant to be about 15 miles away. Uh, it'll probably take a bit longer than we expect because the roads are up and down and really windy uh, but we're looking forward to seeing the waterfall. weather that we've experienced today after the last few rainy days we've decided to take the ferry well the little passenger boat over to Ulva and wild camp on the island tonight because the weather is just fantastic and perfect for it really um, we're hiking down the south side <coughs> and the views are wonderful very happy we made it over here today Theo's super chuffed because <laughs> look at that this mental? So we're just in the old mill, which a lot of it is still standing, but there's just no roof. And the uh, circular, could it be a grinding stone? It's still there, which is cool. the essentials right there. It's a lot. It looks so comfortable. Shame it's not open. Someone's just left their knitting out. <laughs> Every, Every time we film a shot like that where we walk past I have to run back and get the camera. Oh, it's worth it though. So we made it to our camp spot for tonight and it's so beautiful. Take a look at that view. We got this beach all to ourselves and it's like in the shape of a shell and it's just, oh, it's gorgeous. Looking forward to watching the sunset go down later. Getting some nice photos. Should be a good night. Bee's just got the food on. I need to get a spoon. What we got today, Bee? Five seals, they've just followed the... Uh... Hi! <laughs> The wind's picking up quite a bit as we're by the coast, that's understandable. We just had some food, now we're relaxing, just watching the sun and the light change, which is really nice. We've just moved the tent around a bit because the wind was coming right at it on the side. And uh, yeah, so we just made it a bit more aerodynamic. So it's pretty cold now, the wind's really picked up. I've just been out at the top of the hill taking photos of the mountain uh, side with the sun dipping behind it and I got some good shots. So I think I'm gonna head back to the tent, get some food and then hit the sack. Bee's all tucked up in bed, <laughs> reading her Kindle, just relaxing. After a long hike. Yeah. 
cozy. Yeah. So it's been an amazing day. Me and Bea both enjoyed ourselves. A long hike, but well worth it. The sunset was just gorgeous. Uh, and now we're really tired and we're heading to bed, so we'll catch you in the morning. So it's about 4am and I'm up to shoot sunrise. It's going to be rising just behind my tent in the background. It's beautiful and calm, there's no wind whatsoever, but it means the midges are out in force and they're biting. I'm going to spend about 45 minutes to an hour taking some nice photos and then I'm going to get a couple of hours kip before we head back to the van. I've already packed away, Theo is still asleep, unsurprisingly considering he got up for sunrise. I'm going to wake him up now because it's like half nine. Not as sunny as yesterday but still quite bright and no rain so that's perfect. 